Welcome to Jay Plays Desktop Dungeons. If you don't know anything about this game, you can check out my review on it. But this is a roguelike turn-based uh, strategy slash RPG experience. It's very fun. It's still in beta. I plan on playing it throughout the beta uh, to just show it off and to have some fun with it. So, all right, I just created my new profile. I've already put about three hours in this game, but you know, for the videos, I'm going to start right at the beginning. So onward. The story begins. Creatures attacked in the night. The caravan was unprepared. Flames and blood engulfed the defenders. Nomads, exiles, vagabonds. Only a handful of trained fighters among them. They had been warned about the unexplored realms, but, but pride often tricks on reason. All were put to the sword, save those who managed to find sanctuary in a nearby network of maze-like caverns. Their fate uncertain. Injured, ill-trained, and separated from one another, many of these survivors had no choice but to press on into the darkness. All right. It starts with a, a sort of tutorial mission like this. I will be honest, the first time I played this tutorial mission, I died. So, uh, let's hope that doesn't happen again. I beat it my second time through. I never played, like, the, uh, the easy version tutorials that it gives you an option to, and I don't actually intend to do that. So hopefully I won't be foolish again. Hopefully I can uh, I can beat this tutorial. I should probably explain what's going on. I'm this guy right here, Maximus of Heart. Oh Heart. Uh, he has no abilities. He's a guard. I, as far as I know, this isn't actually a class used in this game outside of this tutorial. But still, he's quite interesting. Here's our goblin friend, Goblin the Giblin. We'll call him Gibby. He's got a nice ability, first strike. You can see on the right uh, exactly how much damage each attack does. You just attack by clicking. You gain health by exploring. It, it's an interesting system uh, that I, I hope we get used to a bit here. Okay, so you just click on this guy. It's obvious I'm going to win this fight. He's got first strike, which means he does his damage first. So I can't exchange like final blows with him, but that's okay. The fool is dead. And now we have to to search on for new opponents. You can see right here my level is one and if I kill three more other level one dudes I will level up. It's safe to hit this guy and I can win so I will. Meat Boy can I beat him? I can. Wackity, wackity, wackity. Did it honestly call him Meat Man? That's Meat Boy from Super Meat Boy. We love that game. All of us do. If you don't love that game, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a little highlighted square up there. There's my level 2 guy that I can kill now. Makes me happy. Alright, let's heal up a bit before we uh, explore for th further that way. And we'll leave that. Alright, these are items you can pick up. This, as you might imagine, increases your attack. I believe by 10%. This increases your health a bit. And this increases your mana a bit. All very useful. Exploring on. Here's a spell for us. Uh, it burns your enemies. Burned her ass. I really like how they name the spells in this game. It's very uh, very blatant. We're going to pick that right up. It's, uh, it's a useful spell, and I think it's actually necessary to win this tutorial. All right. So these guys have physical resistance 90%. Attacking them is foolish. I'll show you. They're going to win that fight, right? But, a little Bernie Bernie, and they're gone. Same with this dude. One hit, and then a little burn. Oh, I, I don't have enough, I don't have enough mana to burn him, hold on. Oh, that was close. Uh, one misclick can actually kill you in this game rather easily. Um, I mean, all the information is displayed for you. You will never die unless you're being foolish, basically. There's one character with like a dodge chance. Every as far as I know, anyway. I never got all the characters unlocked, but as far as I know, there's one character with, like, a built-in dodge chance. That's the only randomness I've found in this game. Otherwise, it's all strategy. If you've got a good strategy, you'll either win or lose on it. I mean, random is just how the dungeon is generated. If you can win, you should win. All right, another guy. Little fireball. Never hurt anybody, and we can win now. Very nice. Explore a bit over here. Not much left for us to level up. Actually, I should go down here and find out what this object is. 
Health potions, always useful. I bet you know what they do, so I won't, uh, I won't explain too much. Here's a hint. They give you health. Oh, another, another level two guy. He's got first strike. You know what? I'm going to burn him too. Because I like my Bernie Bernie spell. Level up. Okay. Level three. 16 attack now. What's this? A pendant of mana. It glows slightly. Blue and worn. I wonder if it glows brighter when orcs are around. Uh, extra mana. Always useful. Now I can cast my spell twice, I think. Hmm, a level four dude. I don't want to mess with the level four dude. I'm level three. I like killing guys above my level though. Hmm. Nope, I, I believe for tutorial's sake we don't want to mess with that. And I can go ahead and kill this level two guy. Yeah. This isn't how you do strategy later on, but I think it works for the tutorial. Sensation stone. And I can convert that, and since I'm a human, that raises my attack. Very nice. My bonus is now 20%. We can explore further. Level 3 guy. I think I can kill this one. Whack. Whack. And burn. That's the story of my life. Whack, whack, and burn. Actually, I tend to use characters that don't use that many glyphs, but you'll see my play style later. It's, it's not the best, but I enjoy it. All right, I can hit this guy once. And again. Yay. Uh, magic user. I'm not going to mess with him. He looks dangerous. He's level 4. I'm level 3. Uh, whack. Whack and win. That's such a beautiful thing. The whack, whack and win attack. We can keep using it as much as we can. Use and abuse. Plus 10 health. Very useful. It's showing us all the different kinds of items we can find. It's very nice. I like exploring this way. Go off into the darkness. A level 3 magic user. I believe we can take him. Still haven't leveled up. We're close though. We're close. I need to heal and kill this magic user. And now we're level 4. We can take on these guys up here. Whack, whack and win. Then heal a bit. Heal by exploring. It's a novel concept that I like. And whack, whack, burn him to the win. Yeah, it makes um it makes your movements very significant. Like, if you manage to leave a lot of territory unexplored, you have a much better chance of ultimately succeeding on a level. Whereas if you uh, if you're forced to explore later, bleat. All right, this is the dungeon boss. The dungeon boss always talks to you when you uh. When you first meet him. Apparently we've got a goat. Uh, whack. Whack. I'm close to level 5 myself, Mr. Dungeon Boss. I might even be able to reach level 6. What chance do you think you have? Oh, wait. You're a goat. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go ahead and kill this guy. He's, he's lower level than me. Lower level guys usually don't pose that much of a threat. Now I'm level 5 as well. I'm going to explore first. Which is always a foolish decision. Uh, now nah, I'll kill the goat. The goat's a fool. The goat's gonna die. By my hands. Oh. Now I could go ahead and exit, but I think there's some money down here for me if I remember correctly. So I will continue my explorations. Take myself a nice bit there. I always like exploring as much as possible. See? See? We've got some gold. Some more gold. Always love it. Gold, gold. Yes, 25 gold. Um, I seem to remember there was like a, a secret path over here as well. I don't know if that's an actual secret path or if it's just, uh, you know, secret to me because it kind of blends in. Sometimes I can't always tell where I'm walking or where I can walk, and I don't like that. I think something like this should be ultimately clear on everything. <laughs> But if it's meant to be a secret, I understand. I understand the idea behind it. We're going to get out of here, and we're going to get to the main hub world. That's, that's where we want to be. That's where we can show off our ideas, what we're doing, what we want to do. Let's exit. The aftermath. All right, our caravan was attacked, but we've apparently settled down here. Let's, let's see what happens afterwards. 
Many perished in the days and weeks following the attack. Some were slaughtered by cave denizens. Others became trapped or lost. Stronger survivors prevailed against the darkness, banding together to establish a crude outpost in the heart of the wilderness. I like it. Though safe for now, this group of refugees and crude militia cannot hope to stand long against the terrors of the unknown realm. If their fledgling settlement is to survive beyond its first few weeks, they will need a reliable and well-trained force of heroes to keep enemies at bay. This is where your job begins. As the elected administrator of the rabble, it will be up to you to expand the settlement and recruit heroes needed to defend your people. Several survivors have already gathered the resources necessary to construct an adventurer's guild and wait on your order to begin that construction. All right. Well, I guess I'll order them to begin that construction then. And that construction will unlock the fighter. I actually like the fighter. He's my second favorite class after the Berserker. You probably see where my, uh, my tendencies lie in RPGs. Yes, I just like to smash things with, with large sticks. Upgrade. Upgrade complete. New class unlocked. Administrator, remember this moment well, for you will have just taken your first st tentative steps down a long and glorious path. Under your guidance, these survivors will build a kingdom to challenge the gods themselves. I don't look forward to fighting gods. I mean, really? Well, okay. I haven't gotten that far in my previous playthrough where I was challenging gods. Mainly, I had fight. I had gotten where I was now fighting goats, which is always scary. Goats are scary. It is time to send out your first adventurer. Slay some monsters and claim to a token of victory. It shall be known henceforth that this kingdom will never be threatened again. Sorry, I had my mouse in the middle there. I tend to do that. All right, we've unlocked the fighter. And we have a taxidermy quest. I, I, I like that our first quest is to kill an animal and stuff it for display. It is time to take the fight to them. Load up, move out, and don't come back until you have their heads. Enter a dungeon and return with the trophy of a dungeon boss. I can do that. So we've got... Uh, Three dungeons here. I've already done one on this uh, this um, first video. I think I'll save these three for the next video. I hope you guys look forward to this series. I hope you watch it. This game is excellent, and you can follow its development from here. I don't know how long it's got left in beta, but I'm interested in seeing uh, how different it is when it's released from how it is right now. I am aware of a couple of, or at least one kind of crashing bug that it has. Uh, so those do still exist. Uh, but hopefully everything's going to get hammered out. I believe this is destined for a Steam release for sure. This is going to be an excellent game when it's finished. It's an excellent game now, and I plan on playing it for quite some time. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.